hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna like talk about how to pass your theory test and how to pass your practical like just some tips and tricks that i have learned yeah so let's get into it so theory 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 and if you see me looking down i have my ipad um yeah so theory for theory there's an app that i'll try and put on the screen if i know how to do it it's called i think it's all like theory app i can't remember all in four theory app and i think there's a there's a blue one of it that literally helps me so much there's i know there's like two different versions i think from the dvla i think there's two different versions but the one i well the ones that i failed my theory test on were the ones in the red ones but then the one that i passed was the one that's blue so i used the blue one i i would rate the blue one i tell my friends about the blue one because i think the blue one's the better one but um yeah so literally if i just say every oh, coming up every time i had a chance i would literally have the app on my phone and i would just when i was on the bus i'd literally when i was on the bus i'd literally just go into the app and i just look and go through it go through it test myself when i came home i'd do the same thing i'd go through it i'd go through it and i'd test myself and then like what it was i did it out of 10 so there's 10 questions and i thought like what well, i made sure in my head if i get at least 70 so yeah if i've got at least 70 percent that for me means that i was gonna pass like if that makes sense yeah that that i just basically wanted to achieve higher than what the test was saying if that makes sense so yeah definitely download that app definitely it makes a lot of difference it helps so much um also as well another one like don't tell people when you test this i mean it depends because <laughs> it depends because i'm not gonna lie with my friends i actually asked them like, oh when is it but um yeah i feel like i'm just, yeah don't don't really tell people when your test is i think that's more for um that's more for um and a practical i get into that later but um yeah but it, it, I think it depends if you want to, because it does create more pressure. Um, like, say you failed. I remember when I told people um, the first few tests that I did that I had a test coming up. Even if I said coming up, say it's like a week past, I'll be getting messages. Oh, sir, did you test? How was your test? So that creates pressure. And I remember, like, if I told them the actual date, I'd get a message on the day asking me, "Did you pass?" And I'm thinking, "Did you see me post anything?" That's your answer. <laughs> so yeah um me because i'm a christian i prayed i prayed i prayed i prayed i fasted i prayed and i fasted because sorry people are walking because i just wanted god to be involved and to take control um yeah so i prayed and i fasted and yeah remember if you have failed it's not the end of the world and i know i say that and it might be like oh it's not the end of the world but i know it's expensive like 23 pounds i said it took me like what four times so times that by four mm, nearly 100 pounds cash loss but um yeah just just yeah yeah don't worry about it too much and also book your theory test in advance i know currently we're going through like the pandemic and i know it's a bit hard for um I, I mean my heart goes out to you guys that are doing your tests and doing your lessons in this pandemic it honestly does because i generally feel like it's so hard and wearing masks i wouldn't even be able to wear a mask in my car or in a car at all like it i just feel like i'm being suffocated but um yeah so book your theory test um uh try and just book it so at least you know because i did that I booked it say it's like two months away at least i know i have to be revising daily i have to be revising every chance i get because i know that my test is coming up whereas if you um you you, you don't you don't even have a test booked it's like you may be like oh i don't really want to revise i don't really want to do it i'm not in the mood but if you know that money's already came out of your bank you have to get onto it you have to get onto it yeah and yeah like don't i would say as well don't kind of compare yourself it's like other people that are doing the, your, their test um because everybody's different everybody drives differently everybody takes knowledge in like me i really just knew for a fact that i was gonna fail my theory test because 
I'm not, you could say, that most academic. So it's like, <laughs> I knew I don't like tests. I don't like nothing like that. So I knew that that would be, that would be a problem. Um, yeah, so yeah, don't don't rush yourself. Like, obviously it's nice to aspire and wanna do better and stuff like that. But try not to like rush yourself. Tips for the practical test. Tips for the practical test. Um, so the night before, I'm, just, I'm gonna sound like such a hypocrite. Try and get a lot of sleep. Didn't I just tell you guys that I was mashed on one of my tests? The test actually passed. Um, but I would say try and get um sleep. Try and get at least seven hours. Whatever's whatever you would sleep and not feel tired. Um, try and get that amount. Try and eat something in the morning. I know sometimes. Oh, I know sometimes that you might be um a bit. You might feel a bit sick, a bit nervous, so you wouldn't really wanna um you wouldn't really wanna eat anything. But try and eat something. At least drink water like that's what i did i didn't technically eat anything in the mornings but i did drink water because as you guys know i like water and also what's good for you and yeah so try and do eat or drink something even if it's just a banana apparently bananas are high in like potassium something like that i have no i didn't i won't go at math science either but something like that it's, it's good for something god didn't make it for no reason um yeah also as well if you could get a test with a family member try and do that i didn't have that my brother lives in wales so that was an option but and also he drives an automatic car but try and get like if you have somebody like say um a partner a boyfriend a girlfriend um anyone family member mom dad anyone that say oh yeah they can you can drive their car try and do that i know um, <laughs> when it comes to like learners and stuff like that people don't really want to trust them with trust yeah trust them with their car because they're just like yeah you're more likely gonna um crash the car and stuff like that sorry if the lighting is going in and out i'm filming outside i'm trying to use natural light but the sun isn't really sunning at the moment so i'm sorry about that um yeah also as well observations 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 they're they're gonna basically do the most do the most if they're gonna ask you to like check your mirror your head has to be doing this six point not six point ten looking at the back meh see outside that that blind spot other side mirror back all of that looking your rear like make sure you do the most because even though the exam is gonna be sitting right here like even if you look, so if I looked right now, they might not necessarily see that I looked into that mirror and they could give me a minor, well, give you a minor or give you a major, depending on what the situation is, because they'll say that you didn't use your, um, your mirrors, even though you did, and it's not like you can really fight them, can you? You can't really argue back because they've said what they've got to say, and it? They've said it. So just make sure if you're gonna look in your mirror, do everything, when you do everything, make sure you do the most, just look, and all of that and at least i can see that you're you're doing your observations as well and that's also for like maneuvers make sure you do bare observations but just look everywhere because again they can't really mark you down for not doing what they asked you to do so yeah um yeah also as well me even though i've passed i still watch driving videos if it's gonna help me like to drive better like with hill starts i still kind of struggle with hill starts sometimes i mean i've got a bet i've gotten best from when i first got my car but like um it's a good watch driving videos the what the driving videos i'll try and link it below or put it on the screen dgn driving amazing oh my gosh it's absolutely amazing um there's world driving there's so many different driving i mean they're based in london but it depends on where everyone's watching this from but like there's so many different driving schools you can literally pull it in youtube driving driving mock tests oh my days it will literally help you so much that is literally all i did i'm saying literally so much but that's the truth i just watched binge i'm saying just i still do if anyone looked at my search history on youtube it would literally be just driving videos like pretty much because yeah it's always good to 
perfect your craft if you could say that just get better um yeah and also as well when you're driving and you think you've made a mistake that might not necessarily mean you failed so say you're driving and let's say you you curb you you could drive on the curb okay if you drive on the curb you've definitely failed just saying that but if you kind of if your wheels kind of rub against the curb that doesn't necessarily mean you failed um it might just be a minor i mean if you mount the curb then yeah the, <laughs> i'm saying that to say this like just carry on because the worst thing you could do is drive and then make a little mistake but you think it's a major mistake and then that throws off every single thing so the best thing i would say is just to carry on driving like don't feel um that because you've made a mistake that the test is over or that you you failed it because you might not even failed it like that doesn't even that doesn't really make a difference um yeah just keep driving drive better because they do say you fail either the first the first two minutes of your test or the last two minutes of your test and that was obviously the case for one of the, my tests the last two minutes um so yeah don't try don't try and drive perfectly don't try and drive perfectly because the examiners are not looking for perfect perfection because we can't reach perfection can we they can't even drive perfect so if you stall as long as you put your foot on the brake pop it back into neutral or pull into first or whatever you check your mirrors again drive on as long as you cover the brake because you don't want to roll back you don't want to run into another car because that's when it becomes a serious literally yeah just don't try and drive perfect because when you try and drive perfect i feel like that's when you make mistakes because things like stall and i still stall um yeah i drive a manual by the way so like things like um stalling it's natural i mean even professional drivers stall so well instructors and stuff like that they stall and stuff people that have been driving for so many years they still stall because <laughs> i mean if you lift your foot too fast on the clutch the car's gonna be doing its own thing in it so um yeah so take deep breaths i actually did that i literally stopped and i was just like low-key hyperventilating but i was taking deep breaths like and it actually makes a difference also i asked to wind down my window a bit because also even now like when i drive i like to have the air coming in because even though there's the air con I like to feel the actual air. Um, yeah. So that is a definitely good tip to wind down your window and stuff like that. Signs. When you're driving, make sure you see signs because even on these mock tests that I've seen, they'll be driving at like just before they get to a dual carriageway, they'll be driving at a 30, and then it'll get to a 40, and they're still driving at a 30 because they haven't seen that the signs have changed. So make sure you're looking to see the signs also as well like say you are driving at a dual carriageway and you get off the dual carriageway make sure you check the signs because it could really go back down to 30 and you've got a serious because you're driving too fast for speed so that is no 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 yeah make sure you check your signs guys check your signs if you do fail the test it's not the end of the world i know it costs a lot of money because the, the the price is obviously if you have your own car then you can use your own car but normally the price is to hire the car so hire your instructor's car that costs money then also you have to um obviously book the test that costs money and then there's an hour before but i think that comes that comes included with the um hiring of the car i think every driving instructor and every driving school does it differently i can only go off by what it was for me but um yeah so i know i would like oh it's not the end of the world <laughs> but that could be your last 62 pound in your account been there been there been there but um so yeah. i hope you enjoyed my video sorry if i rambled on a bit don't forget to comment and subscribe <laughs> you know the vibe <laughs> bye guys